Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, so we've already shuffled the deck. Let's cut it and get going with your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month or remaining of February, beginning of March in regards to love. Now your first card here is Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay, so for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship, passion is going to be very important for you. Uh, this has been seeming like a theme for most uh, signs. Um, so again, flirt is going to be very important. Uh, not flirt per se, but more to do with igniting the flame or keeping the interest or sparking the interest in your partner especially those of you guys that have been in a very long relationship. Um, part of, you know, the exciting thing when it comes to relationships, when we're first dating someone is uh, the anxiousness, right? Of wanting to get to know this person, wanting to, uh, because there, th th there's something unbeknownst to us. So there is a desire of getting to know them, wanting to know everything about them because, you know, to them or to you, they're, they're an enigma someone that you're trying to get to know, someone that you're wanting, it's like a fascination. It's like a kid with a new toy, right? But as time progresses, we often forget uh, and we fall into routine, right? The family, life, work, uh, etc. And what, what they're showing me here is that, again, when it comes to those of you guys that have been in a long or monogamous relationship for a while, um, there is a need to spark the desire or the passion in the partnership. Regardless of what's been going on in you guys' life, it's very important to put effort in giving each other that time as partners, uh, being able to keep the romance alive. So again, for the end of February going into March, it's going to be very important for you guys to do this. Now, when spirit is speaking directly about passion, it usually indicates that one or the other partner um, is thinking or experiencing lack of, okay? So just a fair warning for you guys. <clears throat> now your next card here is past life relationship. You've known each other before. So again, they're talking to me directly about those that have been in a long-term relationship. I want to say uh, if you've been in a partnership for over five years, uh, what they're saying here is that the bond or the connection uh, is of a past or previous contract. Um, so again, you may feel like um, uh, you may feel like you've overcome a lot of obstacles together. Uh, for some of you guys, it could even be a toxic uh, partnership where uh, one or the other tends to be uh, over possessive or, uh, extremely like narcissistic in a way. Um, when they show me past life relationship, it doesn't necessarily mean soul connection. It usually indicates to me, um, uh, a karmic relationship. So when we're talking about karmic relationships, it indicates not necessarily a swift and positive relationship. It's a karmic relationships are very, um, very difficult to deal with and they can be very tumultuous. Uh, it could be very passionate, very intense. Um, so when there's arguments, it's like, you know, a war basically. Um, when there is arguments or confrontations, it could become very nasty. And the reason for that is again, is because there's been a previous contract where one or the other, um, in a past life, uh, wasn't necessarily the best. Um, so in this lifetime, we or they have to learn certain lessons that they didn't learn in the past. So again, I feel that if you've had this partnership right now, let's keep in mind that this, for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship, you could have came into uh, a new relationship again, if you've been with a partner for five or less years. Um, 
they could be speaking directly about a toxic relationship that you overcame, that you ended, and now uh, coming, you know, like I said, from five years uh, prior, not prior, sorry, after, an example from five, um, from one to five years, uh, what they're showing me here is that you've overcame a lot of toxic relationships, right? So there is a lot of, you know, there's a lot of like conflicting feelings or issues or uh, perhaps for some of you guys, it could even be like some type of confident issues um, or what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, geez, what's the word? Feeling of not seeing yourself as who you truly are, but more so as what this previous relationship um, partner would put in your mind. Uh, so perhaps insecurity issues about yourself or about what you bring to relationships is something that is at play right now. So that may be currently affecting the relationship currently where you're at right now, with whether you're with a new partner. Um, so again, now for those of you guys that have been in a, or have been single for quite a while, what they're saying is, again, the same message. If you constantly feel like you end up meeting one person and they turn out to be the same as like people that you ended or that you were trying to move forward and it just never pans out or it never pushes through, it's because spirit is trying to teach you something that you have at this point have had to have learned um, and perhaps you're still not learning how to deal with that. Uh, it could be the fact that, um, as an example, if you are mostly attracted or pulled towards people that could be very flirtatious, very out there, very loud, um, and they just, you know, they're so desirable to you, it speaks directly about what you feel within yourself that there could be lack of. Perhaps you're not as confident, perhaps you're not as ex eccentric, Perhaps you're not as out there. And that's the reason why you're attracted to these type of personalities. But what they're saying here is that it doesn't necessarily mean that this is the right person for you. Uh, they're just showing you something that you need to work on yourself to be able to bring in a relationship that is much more suited for you and more stable. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now, you're, yeah, see, this is exactly what I was talking about. Your next card here is codependency. So addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, now, addictions could be a multitude of things. When I hear codependency, it could indicate being very jealous. It could indicate being possessive. It could indicate being extremely clingy. Now, when we're talking about new relationships um, or if you're currently single and you're trying to understand why uh, perhaps you're not able to bring to you a person that is genuinely looking for something long term. Uh, it could be, again, like I said, that a lot of the people that you tend to uh, be mostly attracted to have a lot to do with because they themselves, um, their personality has a lot to do with something that resonates within you. So it could be a feeling of having lack of that, whatever it may be, whether it's, again, like, like I told you, um, the, the being eccentric or being very confident in themselves, being very like in control. Um, and that could be something that what Spirit is telling you, you need to work on yourself. Once you work on yourself and you understand this on a deeper level, then you will be able to exude that. Therefore, people that tend to have that type of personality uh, will not be as interested in you or you will not be as interested in them because you yourself possess that. So you'll be looking deeper into the character of the person, uh, therefore being able to find someone that is much better suited for you. Okay. I hope this made sense. <laughs> I know it was uh, a, a bit explicit or a, a bit uh, long, uh, when it comes to long term and for those of you guys that are single, but take the messages for the, what they are, sweetheart, um, whatever this may mean to you. Um, a lot of the times, like I said, a lot of the times we come out of relationships and we become tainted uh, or 
we tend to date, you know, the same person just in a different body and we can't understand why. And then when things don't work out or when they give up on us or when they just, you know, go ghost on us, we kind of question or wonder like, what did I do wrong? It has nothing to do with yourself um, as a person. It has more to do with the people you choose. And uh, oftentimes the people we tend to choose or fall for um, tend to be uh, tend to be the type that uh, necessarily is not the best for you. Uh, yes, physical, you know, physical connection and chemistry is very important, obviously. Um, but when it comes to relationships, it goes deeper than the superficial. So whatever that means to you guys. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.